This is gonna be me on my runs. <laughs> Welcome back to the vlog. Welcome to Work to Live Diaries with a health and fitness focus. For any of you guys that are new here, my name is Jenna. I work full time at an accounting firm. I work internally, so I'm not an accountant or I don't work in finance. I used to work in government contracts consulting, but now I work internally for a team called Growth Intelligence, which is basically a lot of market intelligence, market research, geography based research, just a lot of research for the accounting firm. And I'm a newly promoted manager, now working in operations for Growth Intelligence. So that it's a little bit about me. I'm in a hybrid model, but my team itself is actually remote. So I work from home basically like 99.9% .9 of the time. In this video, I'm gonna show you guys how I work my nine to five full-time job and prioritize my health and fitness. Welcome if you guys are new, and I'm really excited to show you guys my health and fitness not routine. I feel like your health and fitness when you work full time really just changes week by week, depending on your energy, depending on your workload, depending on your plans before and after work, how much sleep you're getting. So I don't really like to say that I have like a whole entire strict fitness routine. Since this is my first week back working out after I've been sick for a week, I'm gonna take it pretty easy and let's just see what type of movement we do this week. This is vegan protein. I don't love this, but I'm just trying to get rid of it and protein is protein to me. Okay, well, I'm going to shower get ready for the work day and talk to you guys a little bit more about like my health and fitness throughout the week and i'm really excited to take you guys along here's like my workout outfit today i have all these um sweat wicking t-shirts from amazon i really like these because they're cropped and then these leggings are from gymshark i really like them because i really like to work out in pattern leggings i feel like it's best on the sweat like you don't see any sweat stains when you wear pattern leggings so my favorites are the ones from gymshark and it's my outfit of the day end of the day. Thomas and I have our monthly check-in today. If you guys have been watching the vlogs, then you know that me and my boyfriend, we've been together for nine years, which is crazy. We started doing monthly check-ins maybe around like two or three months ago, just so that we could be more proactive in our relationship, talk about our relationship, and just spend some like intentional quality time focusing on each other at least once a month. And it's been really nice. We do them at the end of every month. It's the end of the month this week, and it's actually also restaurant week in DC. So we're going to this place that we've been always wanting to try in Georgetown. That's the plan but happy end of the day. The work day was very busy towards the end. Like I feel like after lunch, I had like one short working session for myself and then I just had like back-to-back -back meetings from I think three until the end of the day. So that took me to the end, which is really good. And now it's dinner time. I have very minimal makeup on, no mascara. I'm like in this no mascara phase of my life, just like touching up my base, putting on some lip. And I feel like that's all I've been doing really for my makeup lately. But here's my outfit, a little bit fancier than usual. I will take you guys with us and show you what we get but here's what Thomas is wearing. I need to go shopping. Why? I just got you stuff from Zara. Oh. Oh. There you go. Thomas, do you like doing our monthly check-ins? Yes. run happy wednesday i'm literally disgusting i ran a total of seven miles stop and go i'm a little late signing on so i'll talk to you guys in a little bit when i'm like settled and i've gotten some work done i feel like if i do my wednesday morning run then i'm on my routine it's like my signal that i feel like i'm having a good routine week so i'm just really glad that i'm not sick anymore and i can get back into my 
fitness routine, show you guys it and everything, but it was so humid out this morning. Like I'm sure you guys can see, but I'm disgusting. So I need to shower and start work. I'll see you guys soon when I'm less disgusting. I had a half of a call your mother bagel this morning and Thomas is having the other half and that's that. <laughs> Okay guys, it is 2.30 right now. I'm taking a break. I'm thinking we should have a snack right now. This is my big box of protein bars where I keep all of my Built Bars, my Built Puffs, my Bear Bells, and I don't know what I want, but it's like mid-afternoon snack time. Beast is eating right now, if you can hear that. I feel like I want an actual bar, not a puff. How about we have this? Blueberry Muffin Built Bar. You guys know I love Built Bars. I am an ambassador with them. You can use the code HONG10 to get 10% off your entire Built Bar order. I think it's really cool that Built is doing a lot of releases, like a lot of limited edition releases. Like these are the Animal Cookie Built Puffs. They had like lemon. Like there's just so much stuff that I feel like they've released. We're also gonna heat this up because I like heating up my Built Bars when I have the actual bar. And this would be really good with like some decaf coffee. So how about we do that as an afternoon snack? It's really important to get your protein in. Here's how it looks. Ooh. And it's like a gooey chocolate bar. It literally looks like a candy bar. Really good. Did you just eat your food? Moo, moo, moo. Also, work from home outfit of the day is a Set Active set. This is the Sculpt Flex line, which is the OG line from Set Active. I feel like I like Sport Body more than Sculpt Flex now, but you just can't go wrong. This is in the color Hug. It's actually a limited edition color, but they have colors like this all the time. So I just watched the website. Sorry for all the limited edition stuff, but like you have to get limited edition, you know? <laughs> Hi guys, happy end of the day. I am getting ready for dinner because I do have dinner plans with my sister, Justine, because she has a friend visiting from another city, which is really, really fun. It's the same friend that you guys saw on the run this morning. His name's CJ, he's a really cool guy. I actually was able to meet him in Chicago because that's where he lives. And I'm really excited to get dinner. We're going to this place called Puzukan Barbecue in, I think it's in Alexandria or Annandale. This is like my midweek treat. And this is one of my nine to five tips for adjusting to nine to five life. Just give yourself some sort of happiness, something out of the ordinary. Is it takeout? Is it going out to dinner? Is it something midweek so that you can feel like you're kind of making progress on the week and rewarding yourself for getting through the work week? Technically, we're like past midweek because tomorrow is my last business day since this upcoming weekend is Labor Day weekend and we do have a long holiday weekend at my firm. So regardless though, I feel like this is my midweek treat because it is Wednesday and I wanted to take you guys. I also styled my hair very briefly with the Dyson Airwrap using the wrapping not the wrapping it's like the brush with like the the round brush using the round brush so i feel like i like how it turned out it was actually really quick and i feel like it smoothed out my hair i just don't like how it flips out like that but i feel like if i just keep doing this it will tame itself out minimal makeup as always the same exact look as yesterday so if you guys want to see that look let me know maybe i'll make a tiktok on it and let's go to dinner i took out baby and i played with him and i fed him and now it's time for him to sleep okay be a good boy. Gosh, look at those lashes. Look at those lashes. Happy Thursday. Thursday, basically Friday because I don't have work tomorrow. Thank goodness, I'm so freaking happy. Oh my gosh, look at this perfectly new coffee. You guys know that I like my Nespresso pods black. I feel like that's pretty uncommon. I feel like a lot of people like Nespresso pods with at least like milk, but I like it black and especially the Starbucks Nespresso virtual pods. Those are really, really good black. I think this looks literally just as amazing. And happy Thursday. It's also nine o'clock right now, so I'm signing on. I woke up at probably around, I think my alarm was for seven or 7.30, but could not get up. And then Beast joined us in bed. So we like really couldn't get up for another hour. So we ended up actually getting out of bed at like maybe 8.30, 8.45 this morning, like 10 minutes ago. So no workout today, but 
you guys already knew that because I did such a long run yesterday. And usually on my rest days, I'll like be productive in the morning before work. Like I really don't usually just wake up, make coffee and sign on to work. That's something that I don't promote, especially in work to live diaries because I think you should do like something for your life before work. But my something before work today was playing with my dog and cuddling with him. So it's fine. <laughs> I think the only meetings I really have today are at 10 and I think two. So I just need to like make sure I get all of my stuff done today and you know check off all my boxes make sure everything for the week is done and then it should be honestly a pretty chill day otherwise usually if i'm not working out then i'll probably go on like a long walk or something tonight and especially since this is like my first night all week where i don't have plans after work i really just like want to chill with thomas have a nice dinner edit and go on a walk that's like really all i'll do when it comes to the day after my long run okay well i'm going to work and i'll talk to you guys soon but i just want to say good morning and let's have a good day Happy almost end of the day. I think I might sign off early today just because I kind of finished everything that I need to today. I had something that was due and I finished it. So it's kind of good to be sent Tuesday morning, my first day after this long weekend. So I put on a little bit of makeup because I'm about to film. But before I do that after work, I thought I would change my desktop background because it's August 31st right now as I'm filming this and it's time to refresh our desktop background. We are going to go to the every girl. What I like to do is just kind of scroll through no ooh apples <gasps> oh my god it's so pretty okay so what we're gonna do is save image as save it to my desktop right click set as desktop background <gasps> and here we have a refreshed background for the new month oh my god apples <laughs> i just finished coloring my september theme for my bullet journal and i'll show you guys of course on the plan with me video that I'm about to film, but this is the theme for September. It's like vegetables. <laughs> and it's crazy how I hate vegetables as a theme, but I love fruit. Like apples, I'm like, yay! And vegetables, I'm like, nah. <laughs> but it's literally all healthy stuff and it actually doesn't matter anyways. I just thought it was funny. That's my check-in. Thomas left for class. He should be back by the end of the day. So I'm trying to finish work, film some videos, and then take out Beast for a walk, which I haven't been showing, but I basically have been able to walk my dog now. I think every like four, if he's sleeping every five hours, which is really, really good. I'm just really glad that like the training period is over and that he can last like multiple hours without having to go out unless he needs to go out which he'll tell us if he needs to just by like walking to the door it's been nice he hasn't had an accident in almost a month which is just like amazing so i feel like kind of like the worst is over and now i just have this like perfect little puppy and he's getting so big like look at him you guys baby sleeping that's my beast update i feel like you guys have been asking for beast updates because some of you guys that are new to my channel i got beast in may in the beginning of may so it's just been like a whirlwind of a summer since we have our baby, but our lives are just so much better, so much happier, so much more full now that we have Beast and he just makes me really happy. We ask him about Timmy all the time, who was my childhood dog that was the same breed. We actually had to put him down earlier this year and it just really broke my heart. After some time when I felt like I was ready to get another dog, we got Beast and he's just like my childhood dog. And I feel like that's on purpose. That's my little beast update, end of the day update. I'm gonna finish work and I'll talk to you guys in a little bit, but it's been a very nice restful day. <music> Yummy dinner, easiest dinner ever. All we used is spaghetti, garlic, lemon, butter, spinach, tomato, and shrimp. And of course all of the seasonings, but this is just like the easiest thing ever. Oh, and we have some basil to top it off. And here's the finished meal. Wow, looks amazing. Checking in because even though I don't have work tomorrow, happy weekend, I still am working out tomorrow. And the point of this video is to show you guys how I'm doing my health and fitness during the work week. So let's just pretend 
we have work tomorrow. Because the Orange Theory class that I'm taking tomorrow, which is the 710, that's like my usual routine. So even though I don't have work, this is still the same class that I would take if I did have it. So I'm gonna take you guys along for tomorrow too. Yeah, I ended up just not moving really at all today because as soon as work ended, I went straight to filming and editing and I got this video done literally all in one day, which is, it's kind of like my old times, but I'll still be able to get at least seven hours of sleep, I think. So I've got to go to bed like right now. No movement today, but I got my long run in and I feel like if I do that, then I feel like I have like 60% of my fitness routine done. Orange Theory will be tomorrow and then we'll do some sort of movement on Saturday or Sunday. Not quite sure, but that's, that's what it's looking like this work week. Okay, well, I'll see you guys tomorrow morning. Good night. Good morning, happy Friday. I don't know why I'm so happy. Maybe it's because I know I'm not working instead of like going to sleep, knowing I'm not working tomorrow. I'm waking up and I'm not working today, you know? Oh my God. If you guys live with your significant other, what do they do that drives you crazy? Thomas never puts this away when he has nighttime cereal and then it just stays out overnight and I always think it's bad. And he says it's not and I'm still gonna drink it, but I think it's a little bad now. But it's just not the same as cold. It's just not the same. Actually, you know what I'm gonna do right now? I'm going to make not a protein shake. I'm gonna make a salted caramel protein smoothie because that's the vibe that I'm on right now. I had such a good Orange Theory class. It was with Coach Jacob, which I've never taken his class before and I've been meaning to take it for a really long time. Playlist was so much fun and I just really like him as a coach. You guys know I love Coach Natalie because I really only do Orange Theory like twice a week right now, but Coach Jacob, loved him and the class itself was really good it was a bunch of sprint intervals with really good weights and i just thought it was like a really good mix of power and strength not too much endurance honestly but a little bit because you were going back and forth between the treadmill and the rower just overall a really really good class we're actually also in the talks at my orange theory studio of doing another private class for you guys because the rate right now for september like the promotion that they have going on is literally amazing it's a founder's rate promotion which basically means that you get the lowest rate you could possibly have for Orange Theory and you're locked into that price even when they do price increases. Really, really good deal. If I could get some of you guys to come to a private class in maybe the end of September in Arlington, let me know if you're interested. I would love to meet some of you guys. And that would actually be my second time doing a private class because the first time that I did it was in February, but it was like literally the day after my dog passed away. And so I just wasn't really in the mood to vlog that much. And I got a couple of clips, but they just like were really, really sparse. I didn't get many clips so if i do another private class i would love to like actually vlog it with you guys and get some of you guys on the channel and stuff and say hi and it would just be so much fun so if any of you guys are in the dmv area and you would be interested in coming on like a saturday morning or maybe at around noon comment below and let me know the smoothie that i'm gonna make is from the rachel's good eats cookbook it's a really good smoothie i made it for thomas when i was sick and i had some and i was like oh yeah i'm definitely gonna make that again i'm not gonna show you guys the actual ingredients and stuff just because obviously like i did have to buy this cookbook and i want to be mindful of rachel devoe because these are her recipes i'm just saying salted caramel protein shake is extremely delicious salted caramel espresso here's the photo of all the smoothies oh my gosh we are making this one You're so cute. It's actually crazy how cute you are. Back from REI, guys. REI is so cool. They literally have a lifetime membership or a lifetime like co-op membership. $30 one-time fee. It's not like a credit card or anything and there's no annual routine. Anything payment is just a one-time fee of $30. And then they literally give you a $30 gift card for your next purchase. So you literally get it back. The benefits of being a part of the REI co-op are just really, really good. You get like a much better return policy, especially for stuff like running gear. I can basically try new shoes, this vest that I got anything for a whole year and return it if I didn't like it. So like even with use. So I just made a couple of purchases and I really want to show you because I did get a hydration vest. Basically tried on every single running vest that they had at REI. And this is the one that I went with. This is actually the same exact one that Jess recommended to me. She's run two marathons and I think like a couple of halves, but I know for a fact that she's run 
two marathons and she says that this was her best choice and after trying on literally everything there like i was there for an hour i was trying on vests for an hour and running around the whole store i was being crazy but this one from solomon i just think actually is worth it the way that it like clips right here is just so so nice see and then there's one more here i got a size small i was going back and forth between a size extra small and small but oh my god it's so cute i love this vest like i'm actually obsessed and now i can run with my phone let me get my phone it's really nice because i can run commute now that i have this vest because in the back it actually holds up to i think like five liters this is the advanced skin five which means that it holds around five liters in the back there's two little things here for water bottles which come with the vest which is really nice and there's little sleeves there's just so many pockets it's so nice so you can put your phone right here and i was literally running around the whole store with my phone in the vest tried it on you can kind of tighten it and then i was running and i was like this feels so nice and it's just nicer than the belt because the belt kind of like bounces as you run no matter how tight you put it because it'll always kind of ride up no matter what and i've just kind of accepted that but then once i realized i wanted to start run commuting places i was like i think i need a vest now and it just kind of works out better for my phone anyways so this is gonna be me on my runs <laughs> so nice i'm actually obsessed and i'm all for investing in the things that will make you happy and investing in like the tools for the hobbies the work the life like literally anything that you do on a regular basis i just think it's worth investing in that's why i always say it's worth investing in your desk chair a standing desk all that stuff similarly you guys know that running is just like my biggest joy right now so i invested in myself and i got a hydration vest <laughs> I'm going to link this one in the description box if you guys are interested from REI. It's so nice. But I really recommend, honestly, that you just go to REI yourselves and try on all the vests. Because I tried on all of the cheaper alternatives and I just didn't like the way that I felt like it was still kind of bouncing everything. This is so nice. It was expensive though. This was $140. Really expensive. Like there's a pocket here. There's a whole pack here so that like literally everything in the back is storage. And so now I can go run commute places and I'm so excited. That's honestly like the highlight of my whole weekend. And I just think it will really aid my long runs. And now I can actually drink water too during my runs. And then since these were on sale and I really, really liked the colors, I got two sports bras from Brooks, which is a running company. I feel like Brooks is one of the most reliable brands when it comes to running shoes. I didn't even know they had apparel. So I got this, which is really cute on sale. And then I got a pink one. So now I can put this on and then the vest and a little pop of pink. It'll just be such a cute running outfit. I'm like genuinely so excited for my run tomorrow because I'm literally gonna wear this. And then the last thing that I got from REI is a water bottle for Thomas because he really wanted like a handheld water bottle. And this is the one that we chose, it was on sale. It's from the brand Nathan and it's really nice because it has a grip on the inside but it also comes with this kind of like hand grip if you wanna use it, you can take it off too. It's honestly really, really nice and you just kinda hold it in your hand like this and then run and it's supposed to be like easy. And that's everything that I got from REI. If you guys are wanting some motivation to work out, I always say like get yourself a nice workout outfit or especially for me with running, like I'm just that much more motivated and excited and looking forward to running now that I feel like I have my hydration vest and the right tools and stuff. I really, really love the vest. <laughs> also, I feel like you guys are gonna ask about this shirt and this whole outfit. Obviously the whole outfit is set active, but this shirt is from Love Bonito. I love how it looks. I feel like it just fits really nicely. It's a size small and I love the look of this like pink stripes i think it looks really nice okay well we are going to eat lunch and then i'm gonna chill i just need to make some like content plans and just kind of get moving on that and then i have some dinner plans later and that's my friday but you see how if you get your workout done in the morning even on days off or on the weekend then you just have like the rest of the day to do everything that you need that one to two hours that you needed beginning to end for working out is done in the morning then it, i just think it's a lot better use of your time so that's why i will genuinely always be a morning workout person it's just like the best way to start my day the best way to stay productive throughout the day the best way to use your time and now you can just kind of like rest and eventually wind down by the end of the day so yeah i'm feeling really good and i'll see you guys soon i'm hungry here's lunch we're having kind of a late lunch so it's kind of random because we both have dinner plans so in an effort to eat not both meals out tonight side market salad 
naengmyeon, leftover kalbi, and we have some like spring rolls in the air fryer too that are finishing. Looks kind of good. The dressing is a lemon tahini dressing that I found at Safeway. Tasted pretty good. So I just hope it tastes good with the fruit. <laughs> Hi guys, okay, I'm going to end off the vlog here, walking around in Arlington, as you guys know, this is like a challenge for me and honestly for all vloggers, but I hope you guys enjoyed this Work to Live Diaries video showing you guys how I maintain my health and fitness throughout the work week, and I'm gonna insert clips right here of my run with my hydration vest because I really just wanna show you guys in this video how much I love that thing, and that's probably going to finish off my workout week tomorrow, just doing a long run on Saturday morning, that's like my ideal way to finish off my workout week. Week, so I want to show you guys just like my full workout week and I'll see you guys very soon in a new work to live diaries Make sure you're subscribed if you're not already. I post new videos every Tuesdays and Fridays. I love you guys so much Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys in my next video, but until then miss you already